Hey you guys, what's up? This is Dagnet, your African blogger, or the African blogger. There's a video I saw of this young man, he looked like he no more than 25, maybe 30, and he's shouting so arrogantly and boastfully and so proudly, what do you bring to the table? What do you as a woman bring to the table? I'm like, who is this arrogant, pompous, insecure little boy? Why is he shouting like that? What is his problem? He asking every woman, what do you bring to the table? Are you asking your future bride or are you asking your business partner? Because the way he asking it, with the forcefulness and arrogance he asking that question, it sounds like to me he's looking for a business partner and not a soulmate or a, or a wife. Then the same man will come around and say, women are too masculine and they want traditional women. You think, tra you think traditional women are raised to bring things to the table? If a woman is raised to be traditional wife, the only thing she can bring to the table, my friend, is your food. Uh -huh. Listen, I'm serious. What do you bring to the table? You as a wife. Now you want somebody to bring to the table and match you head to head what you bring in. Then she brings stuff to the table that like you agree with that. It's up to the same standards or above or as good as what you have brought to the table. Then she brings that to the table. Then you want her to submit under you. Are you okay? Think now. Let's think. Are you okay? Somebody who have hustled their whole life, got her degrees, or, or she didn't go to school, but she hustled and got her business. She's a great, successful businesswoman, or a lawyer, or a businesswoman. Got her business, what her beauty salon business, or whatever business, she got her business, and she's successful, and she's a game changer, and she's on top of her game, and she's a trailblazer, and she's successful, financially secure, and successful, 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 uh, Lord, I can't even speak today. She's successful. Thank you. She's successful in her area. And then she bring it to the table. She match you. After that, now you want her to bow down and submit to you. Because what you're asking for, young man, son, what you're asking for, what do you bring to the table? What do you bring to the That's what he's asking. So if you're asking somebody what to bring to the table, you're looking for a business partner, not a wife. Now she brings that to the table. You say she's going to humble herself and submit to you. If you're looking for a business partner and you ask your business partner, what are you bringing? This is what I'm bringing to the table. Can you match it? And your business partner say, I can match it or I come close enough. And the business partner uh, bring the stuff to the table. And then when they finish bringing what they brought to the table, and it matches yours or close enough, then you want the business partner to, to buy that. You want to lodge yourself over them. They will ask you, are you okay? So to ask someone to what they bring to the table, you're not looking for a wife. You're looking for a business partner. And if you get yourself a business partner, do not complain and say women are today modern feminist women, they are, they are masculine, they want to be in control, they want to boss me around, they want to be my competitor, they don't want to humble themselves, I want a traditional woman. Ain't no traditional woman is being raised and trained to bring things to the table other than your food. Hello young man, he said I can pay somebody to cook for me, I can pay somebody to clean for me, I can even pay hire somebody maybe as a surrogate to have my baby, what can you bring for me? Everything for this young man is money. Money is the only thing that has value for him. Because what he doesn't realize and take into consideration, yes, you can hire a maid to clean your house. You can hire somebody, a chef to cook for you, to drive your car. You can hire all of those people. The difference between them and your wife doing it, your wife or your life partner, your wife doing that for you, she's doing it with love, with care, with appreciation. Because she loves you. She appreciates you. Uh, with consideration, she do it because she wants to, not because she have to. It's not to her now. It's no. It's not merely a business transaction. So all this arrogant and boastfulness. What do you bring to the table? This dude is not no money. Probably twenty five, maybe thirty. Give him another twenty years, you can see him what the noise he's making. You think Bill Gates and Elon Musk and those guys out there with the billions? You think they are asking for that nonsense? You are asking because they know they have more than enough money. There's no woman out there that can match them head to head. And even the women who can match Elon Musk's finances and Bill Gates' finances, they don't even want to marry them either. Hello. Because they were, they were few intimidated and they were few that their women are competing with them. Just how you feel. But you see, you're asking for women what they can bring to the table. So men, either you want traditional women or are you looking for a business partner. But stop asking women what can you bring to the table. And then when they bring what they bring to the table and you and they match you or even better than you, you want them to bow down. No matter who have worked their butt and hustled themselves, that can match you in every game that you play or you bring into the table. Then you want them to bow down and humble you. It's like, excuse me. So either you want a traditional woman or you want a business partner. 
but you cannot have your cake and eat it too. Real men who have real money, not this, this small boy had just walked into some small little money now. A head big, and people can't hear their ears. Yeah, I'm speaking some real Liberian English now. You understand, learn to speak Liberian English. Okay, all of you out there, you Americans. You say you want to get your passport to go abroad, you start learning a different accent and the different lingos and colloquial something. Ahem. All these small, small little boy here now. You not get small money, his head not get big. What that means is, he came across a small little bit of money now. He making small, small little money. His head is huge. Anybody can hear the ears. What you bring to the table? What you bring to the table? Do you think I have Bill Gates looking for a wife? Elon Musk and all those billionaires and influential people. You think that's what they look for in a wife? What you bring to the table? They're not interested in women who make what they make because they figure they make enough money to get all the women in the world. They make enough money that the wife ain't got to do jack or show up and be pretty and cute and the eye candy on their hands when they go to events. What you looking for, sir? Young men, are you looking for women? Are you looking for mothers? Are you looking for business partners? Or are you looking for traditional women? Because I want I want lips. The men are complaining they can't find traditional women in America. That's why they're going to the going across the borders or going to Africa, Indonesia, Norway, China because they're getting the passport because they're looking for uh, traditional women. But the same men who still looking for traditional women asking me, "What do you bring to the table? What do you as a woman bring to the table?" As if they are talking, as if they are looking for a business partner instead of a wife. So what do you want? A wife? A business partner? Or a traditional woman. Make up your mind. You sound like you're confused. No, you're not confused. You just got so much money. Little bit of money. Small little money. It don't blow your head off. Calm down. That same young man who making that video. 20 years asking the same thing. He will relax. He has come across small little money. And his head is huge. Tell that young man, calm down. He really know me at 25, 30. He's, I call him young because he's small for me. I weigh, older, weigh, I weigh you're not older than him. I just look young for my age because you know black don't cry. Thank you.